up, YouTube? Man, I just uh, had to make this video. It's been like in my head for like the past two days. And it was funny, man. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff been going on. But, you know, this is a professional YouTube channel. And with that being said, I would just like to uh, you know, give a shout out to my sponsors. You know, I don't give a damn. Let's just stick to boxing dot com. You know <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. But anyway, man, um man, it was like yesterday or a day ago, uh Carcino had put out his his prediction for this video uh, you know, Lucas uh Matisse versus Victor Postal. And I was like, Man, it's like he read my mind, man. He's like touched on points that, you know, uh I had concerns about you know, a few pointers here and there. Not everything, but pretty much the gist of what I was going to say. I was like, man, he put out the video already and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, man. So, anyway, Lucas Matisse versus uh, Victor Postal uh, fighting on HBO. They fighting for the vacant WBC, you know, junior uh, welterweight title. Title, uh, Lucas Matisse, I guess, couldn't beat... Uh, you know, Danny Garcia for, which is one thing I wanted to mention, man, he mentioned something about, like, Danny talk about he's running, he's scared, you know, I'm staying at 140 or something like that, and I was like, oh, man, these dudes are weird, man, as soon as they get beat up, they always tell, talk about some dude was running or something like that, I was like, I, I could have sworn Danny Garcia knocked you on the ground when you was hung up on the ropes and stuff like that, he knocked you to the canvas, you know? And then, um, yeah, there's a few pointers, man, because, you know, I, I wanted to touch on because you know, this seems like a 50-50 fight, you know what I'm saying? This doesn't seem like a fight Lucas Matisse is going to, uh, a fight of Lucas Matisse is going to, uh, you know, outbox. You know, Lucas Matisse, he's a, he, you know, he's a machine, you know, he comes for he's like, boy, a boxer, you know, uh, to me, he's like a puncher box or a box or punch or have you want to word it but the um he's he's not necessarily a, a slugger but he's you know he's a hunter man he's gonna come after you and post or what i seen in him where he did like psyche what was that psyche aiden you know aiden you know tyson what was that the turkish tyson or something like that um yeah man it's he, the dude can box, man. Victor Postal can, uh, can can box, but I mean, even looking at box rec, the dude only has what forty percent knockout, you know, ratio. And uh, what I wanted to mention was um, that uh, you know some of these dudes might you know have this be deceptive. You know what I'm saying? This is something that uh, you know Carcino had touched on. Like he might have like deceptive power. And Carcino had mentioned that um, his power might come late. But my thing is that, um, you know, does he have enough power to keep Lucas Matisse off of him? And, you know, it's the same thing with Mayweather. You know, he didn't have, a, like, a high knockout ratio sort of feel when he moved up the weight. But, yeah, he had enough power to keep a lot of big guys off of him, you know, to keep things respectable. Even if, even when he did have, uh, you know, even though he, it's, you know, it's rumored and he does claim to have hand problems, Mayweather was still, still able to keep dudes off of him. And, you know, in saying that, that uh, Lucas Matisse, you know, um, he didn't blow through Danny Garcia. You know, uh, Danny the Swift Garcia, Danny, you know, being a, he's a sort of seen as, as a, a flat-footed, you know, um, you know, counter-puncher, uh, you know, with thudding power and stuff like that. The Duke, Duke can box, but the Duke can counter-punch, man, you know, Danny Garcia. And he looks slow. Danny looks very slow, especially against Amir Khan. He looked real slow in that fight, man. But with Lucas and Matisse, Dante uh, Box Nation, you know, Dante's, you know, Box Nation, he had broken down. It was like 2000, 
13, man, he broke down a video talk about how Danny could box and how he got his nickname and stuff like that. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? You right, man. If you can't, if you can't uh, knock this dude out and stuff like that, and if you stand right in front of him, something's going to come back. You know, something's going to come back. And, and some did, and he was able to outbox and outfight Lucas Matisse, man. Even when they were in the center of the ring and they were uh, fighting, he, uh, Danny was able to outfight Lucas Matisse. And then, hence, the kryptonite, man. This is the kryptonite. This is the real problem with this fight is that Victor Postal can box. He can box. And not only that, he might have enough power to keep Lucas Matisse off of him. Like, he might keep him respectable. You know, and I can see Lucas Matisse thinking in there, trying to, you know, set up a punch and stuff like that. But what if he can't outthink Victor Postal? And Postal dwarfs um, Lucas Matisse in height. Well, how tall is Victor Postal? He's 5'11". I'm on box track. And Lucas Matisse is 5'6". Got like a 70 inch reach, you know, 79 inch reach. Let me get back to Postal. Let me get back to him. Let's see what's up. Yeah, uh, I clicked on Postal, man. They, they they went to some advertising thing, man. Damn. But um, yo, know, they don't show his reach on there. Well, I'm sure his reach is a little bit longer, even if it is the same. And you know, this dude got a nickname. Yeah, he got a nickname. The Iceman. So I don't know, man. You know, this dude's been like a boogeyman for like the longest time in that weight class, hasn't he? Because maybe he's supposed to be like fighting Adrian Broner, Victor Postal. Oh, man. I'm thinking to myself, I'm going with Victor Postal, man. Yeah, I'm going with Victor Postal. I, th- I think Lucas Matisse is uh is, is looking past this dude, um, and he doesn't do well against boxers, man. Let's just say that, dude, man. John John Molina knocked him down twice with the right hand, dude. Come on, Ruslan Provokinov. It was like a do or die type thing, man. This dude was like backing up, and Ruslan was all over him. Every time he stepped up, he lost. Except, I mean, except against, you know, Lamont Peterson, but Lamont Peterson is not really a boxer. He tried to be a boxer, and that's when he got knocked out, when he tried to be a boxer. He's not really a boxer, you know. And I don't know if y'all can see the Humberto Soto fight he had. That was a real good one, man. That was a real good one. He And they're, they're both tagging each other in that fight. It's just Humberto Soto's face couldn't hold up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh... Yeah, man, he lost to De- he he lost to Zab Judah and Devil Alexander. Those are really good boxers, man. Those guys that that can move. And for what I'm looking at with this Victor Postal guy, uh, he he's very you know deceptive, man. He's very deceptive, and it seems that he's being avoided, and now he's finally getting his shot to shine. So I'm going with Victor Postal. And I think with the upset, man, I think a lot of people are going with Luca Mestice because he's the favorite. And uh, check out the Carcino for uh, Life video, man. Check out his video, his prediction video on it. It was pretty good. And uh, this is a good undercard, man. You know, uh, it's a good night, man. We got HBO, Showtime. They both showing fights. So set your DVR. You got a whole... Uh, Jose Pedraza versus Edna Cherry, man. Robert Easter's on there, you know. Jamal Heron. You got a whole bunch of uh, young prospects on that uh, Showtime card. An HBO card. You got um, Humberto Soto fighting this uh, Antonio Arazo, Arasco. I think I've seen a fight maybe once, man. I don't really know Antonio Arasco all that much. But Humberto Soto, I know. He's going to have a uh, hell of a fight with Humberto. So anyway, I'll catch y'all later, man. All right, bye. Let me know what y'all think. All right, bye.